Hey Libra. So this is going to be your weekly reading. It's going to be general, so only take what makes sense to you. If it doesn't, look at some of your other signs in your chart or your birth chart so you can get a more clearer picture of what is going on with you. So let's see, what is going on with Libra for this week? <laughs> I bought these off of eBay a long time ago. And I think they're just like knockoffs or something. But anyway, what's going on with Libra? <laughs> Dang, you guys got your three cards quick. So we have the fifth chakra, which is the throat chakra. The first chakra, which is Archangel Michael. This is stability, protection. <clears throat> and then we have victory. So, dang, this is a, I don't know, maybe because I've been doing too many. Some of you are wanting to speak about something um, that's going to kind of set you free. Let's look into this. What is this? The world. It's going to close out some cycles. Something's going to come to an ending. Let's see. I'm stumped. Some of you may need to get your chakras aligned. Maybe get some Reiki. I haven't even uh, looked into that too much, but Reiki healing or something. And be vocal about something. So obviously, first chakra is most important because it's the main one. That's like your stability, protection, just like your bare necessities. So maybe some of you are having issues with paying rent, purchasing food, which is makes sense. And you don't want to ask for help. But if you ask for help, then it's going to give you the help that you need. It's going to leave it. Yeah. We have poverty here. So I just said that uh, some of you are having trouble paying your bills, which are the basic necessities and things of that nature. You feel lost or that you're losing out on stuff. We have the coffin card here. Look, I said lost and losing out on stuff. And then great fortune. So this is something that's not going to last. Just to let you know. This is a temporary situation. Um, some of you feel like it's the end as far as like, nothing's gonna come good for you. Nothing's gonna end. Uh, or it's not going to work in your favor. Sorry. Sure, it was itching. Um, but I kind of feel like you maybe had to go through this to humble yourself. And this is going to be like starting you off on a new path. So it's like once you get to your lowest point, that's when you'll speak up and ask for help or speak up and do something that will help provide you, provide for you financially. And you're going to be victorious and have a great fortune. We have bad health. So some of you are sick right now or just stressed out because of this situation. What's going on with Libra? I was just, excuse me, I was just thinking someone needs to get food stamps. That just popped in my head. Someone needs to get food stamps. What does Libra need to know? Yeah, so you guys are vulnerable right now because you're at your lowest point. Um, some of you are sleeping on the floor because you had to move somewhere. Maybe some, I don't know if you got to, no. You didn't get evicted, but you had to move in somewhere temporarily so it could be a, a hotel but you guys are sleeping on the floor um we have parental issues so some of you are afraid that you won't be able to provide for your family we have manipulation here i just heard someone's gonna try and help you but it's gonna come at a cost here we go again <laughs> okay this is not as bad as aries but I have to call it how I see it, and I'm trying not to say it in a way that's uh, 
what's that called? Not comforting, but I feel like somebody, a woman here or a mother is going to have to do something sexual to get money. And that's why she's feeling like that. And she's looking at victory. This card's looking at the victory. Because it's like this person's like, man, what do I need to do to get to that? I don't want to have to do this. I feel like this is just temporary because like you guys are poverty. Like you don't have anything right now. That's sad. And someone's taking advantage of that situation. Friend zoned. So this is somebody that um, you tell people, oh, that's my friend or they try to befriend you so they can take advantage of you. Yeah. This is who you truly are, though. Like I said, um, most divine feminines, Libra, they all started somewhere. And I was talking third person because my job. So I feel like I'm included in that as well. We've done things that are we're not proud of. <laughs> but once we started to see our worth and going through our spiritual awakening, that's when we start to realize that we're actually divine feminines. Um, sometimes, yeah, you will get caught up and you'll feel guilty. So I feel like some of you are feeling guilty for what you have to do for money right now. But it won't always be like this. Yeah, five of cups. Some of you are extremely depressed and feeling like this is your only option. Oh, okay. Some of you could be like a home health care aide or something. And you could be uh, manipulating or trying to befriend an elderly masculine because he's about to pass away. And you want to get their money. <laughs> That's for the other side. Yeah. So you're caring for this person because they can't care for themselves. What's going on with Libra? Look, there goes that victory card again. So we have the Six of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. So yeah, some of you were kicked out by somebody that you, that was family. Somebody's family member kicked them out because it was just too much for them to, too much responsibility. Um, so you had to juggle and try to ask for, I feel like you were begging them to stay. And they basically kicked you out. You and your kids. <clears throat> so you pretty much had to do what you had to do. We have the page of wands in reverse. My nose is stubby. We have the ace of swords. Let's see another one. And then the Four of Pentacles. So some of you wish you had saved your money for times like these. And you're going to ask, some of you are going to ask somebody for money too. And they're going to be stingy. They're not going to try and help you. They're going to act like they don't have it, but they do. They just don't want to help you. And you don't know what direction to take. So we have the nine of pentacles. So you guys just want to be able to relax, um, be financially well off. We have the lovers here. So it's some type of connection. The emperor. 
Okay, so for some of you, this uh, family situation was a husband that kicked you out. Maybe you were cheating. So this is the females now. <laughs> Maybe there's a, fem a female here that was cheating. And so this masculine, um, who's all about loyalty, kicked him out. And now it's like you guys are under judgment. You're trying to figure out, like, dang, why did I do that? You're judging yourself. And it's like you want to put action towards something. I mean, this person didn't have to do that, but high priestess is here. We have the high priestess here. Ten of Pentacles. And the Fool. So I feel like some of you might be rushing into something because you see it as an um, opportunity. But your intuition is telling you that it's wrong. Yeah, the hermit in reverse. So it's like you guys are trying to take action <clears throat> after taking some time out to think something through. So this is what, okay. Yeah, so four of cups in reverse is uh, you guys eventually going to accept a new offer. But what I'm getting here is that some of you know or are coming to the conclusion that, hey, I was married to this person. Yes, I may have cheated or I've stepped out, but I'm going to take them to court for money because I have the kids. So this masculine, whoever they are, kicked you out of the home because they found out that you were cheating on them. And they kicked you and the kids out. They didn't even let the kids stay. They didn't care where you were going. Um, whoever you did go to, a family member, they got tired of you and the kids being there because they're dealing with some stuff. So they kicked you out. And so that's what led to you having to do what you had to do for money. So this friend, whoever it was that you were actually having an affair with, is the person that has been manipulating you. They told you like, okay, well, I'll give you a place to stay for the night if you do this. And the, yeah, this dad is just kick the kids and everybody to the curb and if you don't have kids then it's just you but they kicked you to the curb without any type of money oh my nose is sticky you know the king of wands so this person was very adamant this person was frustrated too by the way and now you guys are making plans to make a decision some of you are wanting to get back to work Sorry, back to work so that you can be able to walk away from this bad situation you're in. Because it's not loving, but you want love. And it's like you have to guard yourself and protect yourself all the time. You're dealing with someone that's selfish. They don't care. They just want what they want. And this is a cycle that needs to go ahead and close out. All right, so that's you guys' reading Libra. Um... Hopefully it made sense to you guys about your situation or you got something from it. But if you did, go ahead and hit the like button or the like emoji or whatever that thing is. I'm sorry, I'm getting sleepy. And um, <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video. I need to go to bed.